Hey everybody, this is Brett, and it's early in the morning time here in Asheville, and you can see that the sun is just coming up there, and we're getting ready for a beautiful clear day. I just did my morning enema. <laughs> I'm not doing them every day, but whenever I need to, I've got to keep cleansing. This bod just keeps moving out toxic crap, and I can't explain it any better than that, really. Um, had to do some changes with my diet, and basically the oils were not doing good for me. Too much frying, and they say that frying, or like sautéing, not frying, like deep frying, but sautéing is more of a summer cooking method. And maybe that has to do with it. <clears throat> Winter is more for soups, stews. But um, the the safflower oil, I don't think it was doing good for me. You know, the reasoning behind it, there was some logic, you know. But there was also questions. And it turns out that the safflower oil was not good for consumption. It does turn out that it was great. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> for lubricating my sewing machine. I hardly ever have to oil it. It stays lubed for a long time and um, <clears throat> it's just awesome. There's no smell to it, you know, it's, there's no chemical, it's totally natural and unrefined. So also, I was just too weak from all this cleansing and, you know, I really hated to do it, but I had to go back to eating some fish. I ate some eggs, too. And, um, you know, my ancestry is of northern European coastal descent. And they ate tons of fish. And I can eat fish, I'm sure, every day. I wanted to be vegan, maybe for the egotistical aspect of it, or uh, I think that when I became vegan four years ago, that I really needed to just completely stay off of all meats. And my body was telling me that, and I've done incredible things with a vegan diet to clean up my body. And I'll continue to eat mostly vegan, I'm sure. But here's the difference now. If I need to eat some fish, if I need to eat an egg or two once in a while, I think that I'm just going to go ahead and do it and not sweat it. And the advantages to that are that I don't have to worry about B12 anymore. I don't have to take those supplements anymore. Now, maybe I will decide to go back to vegan for whatever reason. But the difference, the thing that I've learned is that I've always been such the perfectionist, okay? It was always either all or nothing for me. <laughs> and this just does not work in this world because this world, as I've told you so many times, is really, really imperfect. We all know this. And so it's kind of an oxymoron to go out and try and do anything perfect, including diet, in a world that's so toxic, you know, Christina in in Houston, a raw food vegan in Houston. It's an oxymoron. <laughs> She'll go out and drive her car and breathe fumes all day, you know, or so many other things. The EMF is huge and just reducing that in my room by, by turning off the breaker and then isolating, and, uh, uh, not isolating, but insulating all the appliances and grounding them was huge and created a lot of detox for me. The wood roller has, is straightening out my posture and I, you know, some of these things I have absolutely no idea how deeply they are healing me. I'm now talking to my father again. <laughs> and, and it's just all of these things are huge. And so it's not just diet. There's so many things that you can work on. That's why it's called holistic healing. And 
I just keep learning more and more and understanding that, you know, the stress factor is huge and you can only take on so much. That's why I tell people, you know, I've never told anybody to just, oh, you just go ahead and completely become a raw vegan or you just go ahead and completely do any freaking thing from where you're at <laughs> unless you've got something that adequately fills the void you have to find things that are similar to what you did before if you want to completely quit that thing and then use that new fix to help you to get through to a new level sometimes you have to fall back retreat <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know I'm learning after having retreated to various things I quit smoking for 13 years and then I needed to smoke again for six months now when I retreated and started smoking again during that difficult time I didn't go back to the chemical cigarettes I smoked organic natural tobacco from the earth grown right around here in North Carolina it's all over the place in the fields growing but I needed that for a while and then I got off it and maybe that's what will happen with the vegan diet you know all I can do is take one step at a time one day at a time sometimes it's one freaking minute at a time <laughs> and you know right now <sighs> but I'll tell you what I scarfed fish again last night salmon coho 15 bucks a pound and that's on sale at Cole Foods normally $17 a pound for wild animals wild fish it's not cheap it's not cheap and you know there are so many questions in regards to the fishing methods and the mercury and all of that and that's largely another reason why I wanted to be vegan and still do but you know like I said people do what they have to do to survive and I'm no different than anybody else you know I have emotions and pain and fears and all kinds of stuff that I don't want and I want to get it out but I have to take it one step at a time if you take on too much you'll kill yourself so thanks for joining me I hope you're well